Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee Kiger and I am a horse trainer from Bend, Oregon, USA. And I recently started traveling the world because I am so excited about all the different horse breeds that I can see. So during COVID, I had to temporarily close my riding school due to the COVID restrictions. And during that time, I started teaching online. So I started teaching one breed per week. And as we looked at that breed, we would look at the country where it came from. So we would learn about the activities you could do if you visit that country, the landscape, uh, the flag, the population size, um, some of the culture of the area, a little bit of history, like the art and the music, and definitely the food. Uh, so while I was teaching these classes, I worked with kids that were ages about six to 14. And I loved this project so much that I decided that uh, when I had the opportunity to move to the Netherlands, and travel the world a little bit that I would begin seeing some of these places that I had talked about during COVID while I was teaching online. So currently I'm in the Netherlands and last weekend I went to go on a carriage ride with a Frisian for the first time ever. And that was really special because we were riding through the countryside in the Netherlands and we were going through these fields that had heather and lots of tall deciduous trees and a few pine trees mixed in and I just had the best time. And so um, I would love to share my passion for different horse breeds with you and teach you all of these different lenses for how to see the world and uh, let you combine your horse knowledge and your love of horses with some academics. So I am a passionate world traveler and I know that some of you are maybe budding world travelers also. And as a horse person, it makes everything so much more fun when you can combine your hobbies. So in my classes, what we do is we look at the country, we look at it on a map, and then we begin checking out videos of the, the particular horse breed from there. So a lot of countries have more than one horse breed. For example, in the US, you have like the Pony of the Americas, Appaloosas, Quarter Horses, tons of different breeds. And so when that happens, we might focus in on one particular area. So uh, for example, with visiting the Netherlands, uh, sometimes we talk about, we do, we do a class that's focused on the sport horses. And then also there are, um, there's like the Frisian from Friesland. And so during class, we'll explore, uh, we'll look at videos of stallions, mares, foals, and riding horses. We'll see them both at liberty and under saddle so that you kind of get a feel of what they look like without a rider and what they look like with a rider and i'll teach you the academic language that professionals use uh, that will help you in a career if you ever want to work with horses so for example if you are a vet we'll be using terminology that helps you better understand how the joints move uh, if you want to be a horse trainer i'll talk about some of the behavior things and how the horse's confirmation plays into what they're able to do in their highest ridden purpose. Um, I'll talk to you about the personality that I see in the different animals and why some foals have a lot of potential. And you guys will tell me like, what are your favorite horses and what do you see? And if you had, if you were able to buy one, which one would you pick out? So we'll do uh, a lot of discussion that way during the class. And then as class moves on about halfway through, I'll teach you more about how uh, the culture of the place and in a lot of cases that actually intersects with the breed and you can see this interesting overlap in the culture of the country and the the breed and how it rose up and what what that country needed and why they created a horse that way so uh some examples would be we might listen to a composer from that area or see some paintings um Lots of times we'll look at ways people travel when they're there. So is it bike? Is it train? Uh, is the place highly walkable? Um, and cool things that you can do while you're there, like going skiing or mountain biking or river rafting um, and how just like these these adventures that you can weave into your life. So I hope at some point you will join me for class and I really love what I'm teaching about. And I can't wait to see you.